Sweet. What's up? We got a little, bit, a little bit of a fragmented Money Monday this uh, this week here. We we got no Warner. Um, Garrett and I were just recording a podcast, so he should be here. But it's yeah, a very, very good podcast. What's going on, guys? Happy Money Monday. Yep, life is good. Cool, sweet. Okay, we got some of y'all hopping in here so far. Cool. Sweet. Core, how's everything in your world? Good, man. Just been uh, selling through a lot of the stuff that we bought since ASD. We wow. we bought a ton of inventory in the last like month or so. As well. So a lot of it's just starting to check in and, and start selling. So we're kind of just flying through that. How about you? Cool. Life's good. No complaints. Good sun maxing weekend. It was fun hanging out with Pete and Garrett in person. Yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah that looked like a good time. Yeah. They it stayed like up. way far away that like Fort Lauderdale. So. Oh, really? Forever to get to the crib. Yeah. What's up, Mark? What's up, Sunshine? Felix? Great Lake Flips? Yeah, Great Lake. I haven't seen you in a while, man. Good to see you in here, dude. But yeah, life's good. No complaints. No complaints. All right. So let us know what questions y'all got. Anything along those lines? We got 30 minutes or so on stream, and then I'm going to do my best uh, Steve Nash 2006 performance on the basketball. You're balling today? Yep. Oh, yeah. Every Monday. Mondays are a big day. How have you been playing? Have you been playing well? I was in a slump at the start of March, and I've been getting money lately. So we'll see. We'll see if uh, if God humbles me or if I'll be shooting. I'll be cooking again today. Yeah, we'll see. What's up, guys? What should I do if I have a lot of units and Amazon just hopped on my listing and tanked the price and is holding for a while? What should I do in this situation? Um, probably just test lower prices and see if you can get the buy box. It sounds like Amazon's holding on to it tight, though, so you might be screwed on that, unfortunately. Yeah, you kind of got to decide like if you want to sell out now and get your money back or wait and see if Amazon either raises their price or jumps off the listing. Uh, either way, if, if they're on it for more than like a couple of weeks, I'd probably go ahead and start to liquidate and just get some of that money back. Yeah, that rarely will happen, like unless they've been on a listing a lot, which in that case you should have known in the first place and such. Just Somebody said I was like you, Luca yesterday. <laughs> That's an interesting take from an anonymous account. Um, <laughs> learned a lot in the past week watching videos. Cool, Jorge, appreciate it. Just got done and it went straight over us for the second time in seven years. Wow. What's up, Blue Whale? Just got my first prep trainer, baby. Yes, sir. Damn, you're nature maxing there too. That's a W trait right there. I was like, Corey couldn't Where's that. Where's the prep center? Is it East Coast? Is it West Coast? Is it Midwest? It's I always sold- good to have one on the on the East Coast and on the West Coast, in my opinion. I sold seven products today. That's absolutely beautiful there. It's me, Juan, the real estate guy. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, sweet. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. My first order. Damn, that's lit. Cool. Damn, nice that's, that's a really good for your first couple of days, man. Uh, did you try to start sourcing items that have a higher ASP and what benefits come with that? Um, not necessarily. Um, if you're doing that to a sales tax free prep center, it's more advantageous. Um, just because if someone's paying, you know, if you're paying a dollar fifty a unit and they're paying ten percent sales tax, the more expensive the item, the better the arbitrage is on that. However, there's much more important. Um, much more important things to track with that. Damn. Okay. We're, we're living here already. Cool. Get yeah. Let me answer one from Lee. So Lee said on Amazon, it's not always the lowest price seller that gets the buy box. What factors does Amazon factor in? So it's a few different factors. Lowest price is definitely the biggest factor, right? So if you're priced lower than everybody else, the chances of you getting the buy box are higher, but a big factor is going to be like the location of your inventory. So for example, if all of your inventory is in one fulfillment center in let's say California, then Amazon's not going to be able to get your orders to a buyer in, let's say, Florida in one day. So they're going to give the buy box to somebody that has inventory closer to that seller. So really, it's a mix of price and where your inventory is located. And the way to ensure that your inventory gets spread out among the country as much as possible is to send in a lot of units to FBA and Amazon will spread it out for you. Question FBM. I find profitable products. I make five dollars profit, but that's not after shipping. Nazir, you need to use the FBM calculator on Selleramp. It probably is profitable when you're not when you're like it probably is profitable if you're not counting the FBA fees like you shouldn't when you're FBMing. So scroll down on Selleramp and toggle on to FBM. What is the repricer of choice for small sellers? Yeah, at ABS, use uh, use BKill. There's a affiliate link in uh, in the description if anyone wants that as well. Uh, or should I pay another? Uh, just got an LLC on legal name. Ryan, you can just save money and do it on your state's website, honestly, too, if you want. Okay, Pete, I'm sending you an invite. Pete, Pete, I'm sending you an invite. Pete's in the bullpen. 
Garrett, the type of dude to watch the solar eclipse. Uh, no, we're on a call during it. Oh, it was just then, really? I think so, yeah. I don't know. Interesting. It did get dark for a bit. Yeah, I didn't it see did, it. It did, yeah, it did here too. I think Warner went to go see it. So, all right, Michael, good question. Corey, how do you approach distributors as an Amazon seller? So when I'm approaching distributors, I want to know before I reach out to them, what brands do they carry? And then I want to know the exact products from a couple of brands, just as an example, that I'm looking to buy. So for example, if that distributor carries, let's say, Milwaukee Tools, then I'm going to have an idea of two or three specific Milwaukee Tools that I want to buy before I call them. So that way, when I call them, I can tell them exactly what I'm looking for, and they're going to take me a lot more seriously. We got Tony G up in here. What's up? The hey, physical pornography is just oh. beginning. Dang. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pete, pick, fix the quality. It looks like you're in the sauna. Oh, right now. Come on. You know what? No, we get, go down we get the the... All right. Go, I'll add you back when you're in the basement. Go get the go get the basement. In. A lot of times, even if you float a price that you can see or getting from a different distributor, even if it's true or not, they'll likely match or beat that price. Yep. A lot of distributors will price match just like retailers will. Oh, ooh, that's some game for y'all with uh, online arb or with retail and online arbitrage too. Do you create accounts for a for a friend to grab the ten dollars? Oh, bro, do that absolutely. How can I get ungated in the grocery category? Go on Target and buy like the Yogi Tea product that's in the grocery category on Amazon. Buy ten of it, submit it off to Amazon. Uh, the order confirmation email, and you're good to go. Okay, good, good decision, Pete. Good decision. We get the golden hour one time in Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. slapped on no, the no, list. No, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> hey, we're still looking shot, low key. Yeah. Low key. Oh yeah, yeah, we're yeah, we're we're catching up on sleep. We got in super late. No, it's the camera. Oh really? The camera. What okay. time did you get back, G body? <laughs> you just can't win today. <laughs> <laughs> what time did you get back, G body? Uh, like nine thirty, nine forty-five. Oh, cool. Okay, sweet. So uh, you, yeah, yeah. Should we avoid wholesale products on Amazon? Which Amazon is? So it depends, right? It's because it's all relative. There could be a product where. Product sells a thousand times. Amazon's only claiming 40 or 400, 500 of those products, right? The other supplement, the 500, 600, if, you know, it's being distributed across all the other sellers, that may be a good opportunity. But in the same token, right, that same product that sells a thousand times, if, Amazon's, if, if Amazon is claiming 90% or all of it, then it's a different story. Uh, if I list a product, will it automatically be in the buy box rotation? There's a pretty high chance of that. Um, if you're FBA, you'll just have to wait till the inventory actually checks in. If you're FBM, it depends if that listing has other people FBMing on it. And if you're in zero to handling time, uh, I, well, yeah, I mean, MJ, you can just use the email too, if you want, like it's, it's going to be the same process. You might as well just get started with it quicker, but it'll, it'll have the same effect. Now you can't ungate multiple brands. Well, with one item, yeah, but it's not like it's a little confusing to explain. Like if you buy, you'd have, like, to, get, you'd have to resubmit yeah. the same invoice twice, right? Under yeah. like two different brands. Yeah. What if um, Amazon runs out of stock and allows pre-orders, not letting other sellers take over? What should I do in that case? Ah, uh, you're thinking um, too much into it. Yeah, just yeah. But yeah. that is that post, is like a super like nuanced like, that'll, example. That'll, that'll, that'll benefit you a lot more. How do I check? Oh, you know, oh, oh, Pedro, brother, click, click orders, man. He's seeing that's that's beautiful. He, bro, bro's seeing he's nice. so but doesn't know how know how to check. Yeah, click, uh, click manage orders, man. I work all five days and only able to do R right on the weekend. How can I get started with? Oh, right, I keep, all right, keep a teller. So you're in the right spot, right? Miles, my or Miles channel, my channel, both have tens of hours, hundreds of hours of, of live sourcing content, right? Going over specific examples of, of profitable opportunities at that point in time. Now. Those same products are likely still not profitable, but the processes still hold true. The techniques, the methods that we found those products with still hold true, right? So start to learn how we got to that product, how we walked the analyzation process, what we identified as good, what we identified as bad and different, et cetera. And you'll be able to start to kind of model your own business similarly. Furthermore, the competitive sellers in those on those products are likely interesting. Other variations, sizes, colors, et cetera, are all likely still interesting. So use the products as a starting point to continue to dig deep in, find other opportunities that, and uh, you'll be all set. 
Yeah, use all these discounting methods too. This is like insanely important too. You need to be utilizing all these different discounting methods. Um, and I know it seems a little bit complicated if you're a beginner, but um, the way very few people are able to find stuff that's good without discounts, you need to be using discounts and it actually makes your life a lot easier. So I put a link to this in the chat too, but definitely take a screenshot of it. Um, every time you put this up, it gets just a little bit more formatted properly. Just a tad bit every week. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, I, yeah, because I get better at explaining shit too, you know? And the so, yellow and the light blue is a hot take though. Just low key. Well, luckily we're on a view only account. We're on the incognito, the chat incognito. So nothing's on high price items. So for most cases, most people, that's not going to be sustainable. For a new seller within the first couple of months and your business is only worth $10,000, $20,000, $5,000, probably not sustainable. Because Amazon's always going to side with the customer. Any replacement get taken from you. Any refunds, any damaged products get taken from you. I would rather you start with those $20, $30, $40 items, $15 items, and continue to pump with volume, and that'll compound your money way more. One $200 sale, 20%, that's $40. You don't get that $40 back for another month, month and a half, right? However, 20 different items you sell for less, that money is going to compound quicker. And you have way more proof of concept. One purchase is going to tie you up heavily if your business is pretty new. Uh, truth, right. Um, it might be just a temporary thing. You could also hit up Amazon and see what they say. How can we ungate Nike police? So the answer to every ungating question is go on a big website, a big retailer you've heard of, buy 10 of a product that's also listed on Amazon, and then submit that order confirmation email to Amazon. And the, it's more likely to work the bigger the retailer it is. So any retailer that you recognize that you see in your city or town, like is going to work online. Is QuickBooks enough to properly bookkeep or should I use Sellerboard or something else? So QuickBooks is a true bookkeeping software. Sellerboard is not. Sellerboard is just going to give you like a rough estimate of what your profitability is at any given point in time. So the right answer is to hire a bookkeeper and have them run your books through QuickBooks online using a tool like Link My Books or A2X to link your seller central account with your bookkeeping software. Wait, G body or uh, wait, Pete. So last week Tony did the networking rant. Yeah, because he he'd been I I said that he'd been showing some promise. So can I, you? Oh, oh my god, we layered it in. But yeah, that, uh, can, do you have the recording of that? Can you send me the recording of that so I can post it? I do not think I have. A amateur, recording. amateur. You had one job, bro. You had one job. I got the handoff from Garrett. I, we were I don't scrambling. Know why. I have no fucking idea why I wasn't the first one called to cover the call. <laughs> you were answering. You were out on date night. You didn't move with speed. It's, it's as simple as that. He had, it's, the it slip three, up. he had the button up shirt, three buttons down. He had the chain. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about right there. We'll have him. Uh, we'll have him. Uh, he's allowed to come back in once he's talking about reality. Andrew had a good question. Jules said, Jules said, Pete, I was told you were 30. You look 24. What's the ASIN you use? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, can't, can't divulge. Sure. Three, three buttons down, gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> like he's actually like not that. He was mobile. <laughs> yeah. Pedro asked a really good question. Something he said you he couldn't see the orders that he has. He's probably filtered to fulfilled by Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Filter them to fulfilled by merchant. Or just all, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. How can I get started sourcing? Oh, a storefront stock in Nazi or storefront stock, and watch the video I uh, posted yesterday. How to see if your listing is going to sell or is it on the buy box, which is the selling thing. Um, look at the listing and see if there's the offer count is going up and down. That means people are selling out and you can too, if you're priced competitively. Who y'all got in the national title today? Give us some Yukons or Purdue's in the chat too, by the way. Easy, easy, easy. He made a low-key bag on Saturday. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, but the miles kind of glossed over, but that's a huge point, price competitively. Right, because if, if you have to sell something at 30 to be profitable and the market's between 20 and 25 most of the time, that's not likely a scenario that you're going to be able to do well on. Contrarily, right, if you, again, have to price at that same $30 price point to be competitive and you've seen three, four months of history between 28 and 35, well, you're good to go. So it's, of course, the velocity isn't moving or not. Obviously, Miles already pointed out the, the, the seller oscillation, the offer count oscillation. And then most importantly, the price point that you need compared to what the market has previously been at. And those are all going to be a really good indication in terms of like whether you can be successful or not on a listing. Oh, uh, goes fam. If you're not featured eligible, call Amazon or switch to zero day handling time or those FBM listings you're on that aren't featured offer eligible, just aren't FBM friendly. 
Can you list private label without ASIN or UPC? No. What's the easiest way to see how profitable your FBA business is doing? Seller board. Took Wisconsin. Yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> Can't yes, win yes. the bracket, so I'll go with the Big Ten. Was probably before I was born. That's a, See, now, Tony, that's an interesting take from you because I'd expect you to be a UConn guy, man. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Be patient, Omar. Hey, bros asked the same question like three different ways. Like, yeah, no, but that's like a that's like a super nuanced question. So, like, I that get it. But yeah, you gotta you gotta kind of just like wait for them to either like fully run out or just stop allowing the back orders. Uh, Omar's picking the this the 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 finite situations in all of Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I sent and they uh no no Pedro Pedro brother you're you have the wrong fulfillment type selected or you're actually not getting sales. So you're probably looking at your Amazon seller app right now and you see those sales hit manage orders and then you probably see nothing right now because your filter is probably to FBA instead of FBM if you're FBMing or vice versa. Yeah, we got you, Omar. We got you. About to go watch that free game, King. Yes, sir. Nazir. Yeah, Nazir, you got good energy. I think you're newer to the stream too, by the way. Um, highly Please recommend getting yeah. on Twitter with you. Yes, actually, out. Nazir, we do. Yes, yes, facts, facts. Give yourself some more respect. We need to capitalize yeah. those first letters, facts, right? Facts. We need to yeah. have facts. a kind of... Somebody we'll make... asked what the bookkeeping service that I recommend. So I use Chris Potter at Tall Oak Advisors. I think it's just talloaktax.com. And he's on Twitter. He's been kind of quiet because he's just busy with tax season, but he's he's legit. He's like in the community as well. How do you switch your handling time? Yes. So you hit the top right on SAR Central. Then it's going to bring up a drop down menu, hit shipping settings. And then in the top left, you're going to see general shipping settings. And then scroll down and adjust your handling time to zero day, ideally. So he said, when you're getting auto denied during the ungating process, do you wait a little or keep reapplying? I wait, what, 24 hours between submissions is what I was told is like best practice. Ah, just rip it. Just, just submit instantly. You know, that's how you gotta be living your life. You I know? knew you were going to say that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, no, no, no. If they overcounted your FBA stock, don't question it. Don't question <laughs> it. Print the wealth. Print the wealth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a good one here. Okay. UPC codes not on receipt. UPC codes aren't going to be on any OA receipts either. It's not a big deal. The title is what's important. Um, yeah, April. That's a very, very good question though, April. That that makes a hell of a lot of sense. Luckily, you don't have to worry about it being an issue. What about Inventory Lab and Seller Board? Do they save this or serve the same function or both helpful? Uh, so both pretty incomplete. Um, they yeah. work. Yeah. Thanks for answering my uh, question about IP this morning. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, KuKid, it's it's probably says private label. No Nike listing is going to say IP. So I'm trying to. Oh, okay. So MJ, find one of the ones that allows you to buy ten, or you can just do two orders of five or two orders of nine. Or because the cool thing is with ungating guys, it's just ten plus. So theoretically, you could do ten receipts with one unit per. You know. Yeah. Okay, enjoyed the weekend in Miami, lads. Are you even further radicalized about life up north? <laughs> I don't know. How are you feeling? Radicalized. Huh? You're not radicalized? I, said, I don't need to be any more radicalized. Oh, oh, okay. So you're fully radicalized. Okay, yeah. we're still working on Corey. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, good question here from Scott. Um, so, if you, how do you get ungated if you're using a prep center? Yeah. So the address won't match, but you can have the address match if you want to. And that's going to be using your billing address as you and your shipping address as the prep center. Yeah, Amazon only cares for ungating. They only care about the billing address. The shipping address can be anything as long as the billing address on the order receipt or the invoice matches the registered business address in your seller central account, then you're good. Same thing with authenticity. So you'll always want to make sure that billing address remains steady. The buy box is all I need. Max should have hit that during the panel, man. That would have been beautiful. Oh, he got cold he feet. Up. He did get cold yeah, feet. Yeah, he got cold feet, unfortunately. That would have been legendary. Uh, Pete, you're in like Milwaukee or something, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, can you upload pictures on Amazon listings? Uh, I think you can. You definitely don't need to, though. There's no I think he means like for his offer. So like. Yeah, if you're listing used, you can, but I mean, if you're selling brand new products, you you never would. You can't if you're selling new products, which is all we do. 
Yep. Okay, cool. All right, good job, Pedro. Yes, sir. All right, Pedro's printing the wealth here. So, Pedro, now that you know how to check those orders, restock those items, man, because seven sales in one day in your first couple of days mean that's a good product, so great work. And whatever you found um, – or wh wherever you found that item, repeat successful actions and storefront stock off those listings. See if there's any adjacencies in those brands or products. Difference between A2X and Link My Books? There's no difference. It's just whichever one your bookkeeper prefers. Ooh, okay. This is a good one. How do you check IP alerts on a product before listing it? Yeah. So look on the Keepa chart and see if there's any random big cliffs in the offer account. You a Bucks fan? Yeah, I suppose. I don't really care. But... Yeah, yeah, brought the mission. The mission is so fucking important, man. Yeah, yeah my um, friend's freaking out about him. I, I couldn't care less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the mission. The, the mission is so like heavy. Hmm? I feel like I think they're struggling heavy. Oh, they're getting clipped. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they're not. Yeah, they're just yeah, struggling. Damian Lillard. No defense. Mm. Yeah, see, they should get me out there, low key. They were, um, maybe, maybe. Yeah. So over time, that's a good question, Omar. Over time, you're not going to test order, but slowly increase your quantities based on your confidence in general, your capital availability and your confidence for that specific item. And like how likely a bunch of other people are to find that deal. If it's a retail price item from Walmart, there's going to be a lot of competition. Most likely if it's an item that required a coupon from a niche website, going to be a lot less competition. Okay, so I keep getting an email about listening reports. Jules, brother, you're refreshing your seller app a lot. Good job. You get one of those every time you refresh your seller app. Is it you get one every time you refresh your seller app? You could also like opt out or of those. You turn it off. Yeah, those emails. Yeah. I didn't know that that's what triggered it though. That was, was a major so I've deleted. I mean, that yeah. was maturation maturation. I haven't been logged into my seller app in probably six months. I only look at seller board just on like Safari. On my that phone. was a uh, that was uh, a major contribution of B Flip's wisdom. Maybe his first actually. He has dropped a lot of wisdom on the community. But That's that a gem. Funny. I never. Yeah, I used to get I those every, every day, and I'm like, dude, seconds. oh yeah. my god. Every ten seconds. Yeah, I'm outside Chicago. Midwest weather's getting better. Oh, it'll get pretty shitty again in October. Over, unfortunately man yeah like it will get you know. shitty in august yeah <laughs> eh, no august is fine august is fine that's cope um, no, no, no 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 you just don't know the schedule <laughs> that, this no i'm not taking the cope one for that no, 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 that's late crazy. august in chicago would start to get really cold when i was there maybe yeah, Corey, Corey, Jack, Corey lived there right yeah oh, for like two yeah. years I don't know, cold. That's got to be relative. Well, cold coming from North Carolina. That's, okay, okay, there we go. So this is why he's not indoctrinated. He's no, got but little... it's all relative, though. It is yeah. all relative, you know. It like, is, for is. example, like to the, to the nineteen-year-old child scaler in his mom's basement, he's disgusted to see only a hundred FBM orders to fulfill, right? <laughs> but but to the guy who doesn't quite believe he can quit his job yet, he's very intimidated, worried, trying, hopeful. If had no luck about uh about fulfilling 20 fem words which god fucking blessed him to have to fulfill <laughs> you guys look for specific profit margins when sourcing or do you look at so i would just look at profit per month right because the fact of the matter is all products are going to be created and look differently some are going to generate two dollars four dollars six dollars eight dollars per units some are going to sell 100 200 500 etc per per month all right so the cool thing is if you combine those metrics if you create like a value metric so to speak you can start to qualitatively compare product A to B to C to D, right? That creates like a common denominator that allows you to make those decisions a little bit easier, especially as a newer seller. So you'll have this product that you can potentially sell 50 per month at $4 per unit, product over here that sells 60 per month at five, and that's a really easy differentiation to make, right? That just eases the, uh, the confidence you'll have kind of making those A or B decisions early. Yeah, Corey, you have an incredibly good breakdown. Do you mind talking through how you think about profit per unit per month based on ASINs? Yeah, so like I don't even really pay attention to the sales rank or how many units a product sells per month. The only thing that I care about is how what is the amount of profit this product is going to make me every month, right? And so our threshold is typically $250. So if I see a product and it's only selling one unit per month, I can only sell one unit per month, but it's going to make me a $250 profit, then I'll buy it. But the same product, if I see that, let's say it's maybe I can sell 250 units per month, but I'm only going to make a dollar per unit, I'm still going to buy it because, again, that hits my goal, $250 the same. in profit per month. Same exact thing, except the only consideration is I would want my 
gross margin to be above about 10%, right? So that's the one caveat, 250 per month in profit at at least a 10% gross margin. Now, for some of you that are newer, you might be perfectly fine with a product that makes you $50 per month profit, $100 per month profit. So find whatever that threshold is for your business, set it and, and stick to it and it'll make your sourcing a lot uh, more disciplined. What would you do if you're trying to get ungated? You did your 10 items, but once you receive your order, only to be told they no longer send invoices. You shouldn't worry about waiting to receive your orders, nor should you be worried about invoices. You're just gonna use the email confirmations, Crystal. Um, luckily in 2024, that's a way easier way to do it. And there is a ridiculous amount of time wasted by people trying to get invoices that are unneeded. Yeah, keep on selling for what you're gonna need for your product research as a beginner. Yeah, settings right there. So Cal, yeah, you just go on settings. Makes sense. Okay, great. Yeah, Crystal, we got you. So the cool thing is, Crystal, you actually already have what you need, so you can go ahead and uh, nicely get that submitted. Now, they're probably going to decline you a few times. It's completely normal, just kind of how the process works. Um, but trust us on here. We will take care of you, and great things will happen. It's a shame we didn't get to hoop this time. Okay, here we go. Good question from Pedro here. 10 people on the listing, 300 sales per month. I can drop the price by 30% and still be profitable. Um, everyone followed me. Okay. Um, I would match the price, dude. I would match the price. Um, but you're hella profitable on that, which is awesome. So it depends kind of how much you need the money, how replenishable the deal is. Um, yeah, just make sure the repricer is competitive too. Like that's the main thing, right? And also see how many available units you have. Because if you... If, you, if all your units are back ordered and you only made one sale today, well, once your stuff becomes available, you'll make a lot more sales. So there's like a few factors to consider here before you like really tank the price. Thanks. Jules said, how do you know how much of the sales you will get? Is there an equation? So yeah, so I look at what are the how many competitive sellers are on the listing. And so I define a competitive seller as a seller that is within 2% of the buy box. Miles, does seller amp tell you the number of uh, competitive list or competitive sellers? Ooh. Um, that's a, all right, I'm putting that on that. Yeah, that's like great. <laughs> yeah, because we, what we would do is put it like how many people are within nine percent of the buy box, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, okay, all right, I'm absolutely emailing that to myself. Dang. Very good. So, point. so that's like that's the metric that you use, right? Let's say the buy box is ten dollars. Well, anybody that's priced within two percent of ten dollars that's an FBA seller, they're a competitive seller. So you take the total number of competitive sellers plus you, you got to add yourself, divide that by the estimated monthly sales according to seller amp. And then that's how many you can roughly expect to sell every month. And that's how many I would buy as a test order. With a lot of these higher volume listings, there could be like 70 total sellers, but only 30 of them are competitive. That's right. a major point there. Yeah, so a lot of wealth is lost, right? Yeah. So what you guys want to do is you can scroll down on seller amp and take a look at how many sellers are within like five to 10% of the buy box. We got you. See what do any of you guys do FBM? Yes, please make God proud in FBM. Yes. That has the incorrect image showing. Can you get the photo corrected? You could not personally a fan of putting in that for necessary though. Uh, there's people with more reviews and they're getting the sales. Yeah. It's not reviews, Pedro. It's probably just They've been on the listing longer. They have more in stock. Their stock's more spread out or their inventory has better delivery dates as a result of checking in. How do I know what to put a shipping time on FBM? You actually don't need to. Um, in your settings, have it as three to five or 48 though. And do zero day handling time. My bad, sister and sass. Yeah, come on, Jules. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Yeah. Yeah, hey, what is that? Some road rage, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I'm about to hand out smoke at the YMCA too. <laughs> I heard you were off last week, bro. No, no. Are you out of your mind? I, I went... have video evidence that you were all right, going First of all, from the direct, I was destroying. Now, I, I don't typically I destroy people. Totally like, I, no, no. I was four and one, four and one. Cousin Wi Fi was carrying your first hand tours. First of all, ca yes, carrying. Yes. Dude, I had random people hitting me up like, you know, your Miles, the podcast host, he was terrible yesterday. I had videos being set left and right <laughs> and bricks, bro. You were getting your pocket swiped. Ooh, it's an interesting. Thing. That's a huge risk of, of us moving to the Miami area. Is we might we might like find out how, how good we're playing. Yeah. Yeah. Fast. Risk. Yeah. Low key. Yeah. Free shipping for FBM is ideal. And if you guys want a good walkthrough on uh, FBM, you can go to howtofbm.com. Also, 
Also, also very, very important. This Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, we got a free live training going down. If you haven't yet been to one of those, it is really, really worth your time. We're going to show you guys a really, really good walkthrough on some specific stuff we don't share anywhere else. Get registered for that. It'll be a lot of fun. Shitload of free games shared right there. Uh, if I do FBM, may I use UPS shipping box? Uh, if it's if it's one of the methods, yeah. Pete getting the Larry Bird comparisons. Yeah, that's, that's big. That's big that it didn't run. Oh, Felix right there. That's love. Can I see who bought my products via FBA? No, via FBM, yes. What's crazy is you used to be able to see all of your customers' information, email address, like shipping address, everything. And there were services out there. And think about how, uh, how crazy this would be if you're a private label seller, where it was like two or three cents an email. It would scrape your customers' emails from FBA. And if you're trying to build a private label brand, like that's a way to build your email list like from your Amazon sales, which is pretty much impossible to do today if, if you're do it, talking like legal methods. But imagine getting email addresses for two cents an email. It's insane. Of buyers, not just like people interested. Yeah. Crazy. That's wild. That is popping. <laughs> you bought again the Larry Bird comparison. Though. Can you speak to why I wouldn't immediately get a prep center rather than pay six and a half percent sales tax? That's a good, uh, yes. good question there. What are y'all's thoughts on that? You need to print the FBM wealth, Papa Joe. You need to print the FBM wealth. That's the two, yeah. <laughs> that's. The two save you a ton of time it's going to make you money a lot quicker and it's overall just going to build you more into the man you want to be just two, 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 three months. Your builder it lets you make money so much quicker it lets you learn so much quicker uh more notoriety amongst the boys too as well as big as well um you sacrifice a ton of time when you use a prep center especially when you're sub 50k month Builds character. Well, yeah, that, and it's also you got to learn the shipping process yourself too, right? It's like how can you manage a prep center if you don't necessarily know the shipping process yourself? So that's why I did like I would recommend anybody, wholesale, arbitrage, whoever, do your own prep for at least a couple of months, learn the process, and then do whatever you want from there. If you want to keep doing your own prep, great. If you want to hire employees, great. If you want to use a prep center, great. But do it yourself for at least a little bit. Yeah, once you have like ten plus ASINs, it makes sense to get a repricer. And there's a affiliate link and tutorial linked in the chat too. Did I see sellers making sales FBA? Yeah. So Brandon, not every listing is going to be FBM friendly. Um, and you probably don't have your settings set up correctly. You might not be in zero to handling time yet and such. Um, so if you are, it's probably that you're not in zero to handling time. If you do see people making sales FBM and you're not, it's probably because their delivery dates are better, which is uh, due to being in zero to handling time. Cool, cool, sweet. Haven't seen Warner in a minute. Uh, yeah, I don't think he was on last week either. We'll get him on that. Can I use any box? blank boxes? Blank boxes for FBM, unfortunately. For FBA, you can use whatever the hell you want as long as it's under 25 inches. Let's see if ChatGPT knows the box limit requirement. It's game over. They're going to put us out of business if this is true here. You need that live screen share review. Yep, of course, of course, of course. We have, you don't have ChatGPT bookmarked yet with how much you've been into it? No, I don't bookmark stuff. Well, I can see that. What? Come on, come on, come on. Dude, G, the, the version 4 is so slow. This is an easy one. They're just going to Google it and then find the answer. Hey, people still asking, man. Yeah, that's what, that's what you're <laughs> You know, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. look, look, here we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm going to find it. It's on the internet. Yeah, here, let's see what it says to Ungate. Going to get it. It's accurate. Let's see if it says Chad. Uh, Chad, it's going to say use the email and Chad FBM with the boys. Let's see. Do we got here? Man, this boy needs some coffee or some Celsius. He needs to get that up here. <laughs> It was flying the other week when you were using it last week. Flying, man, yeah. Yeah, showing that you bought a substantial quantity. Yep, yep, there we go. Easy money. Damn, that's love, man. Dude, we're in trouble, boys. We're in trouble. It's coming for all the talking heads on the internet, man. <laughs> Somebody said, if I find a number one item in a niche that has 20K monthly revenue and the only seller is FBM, should I sell it? 
So it depends. Is the only seller, are they the brand themselves? If it's the brand, then I would probably avoid it because they might try to IP you off the listing. But if it's just some random third party seller, then yeah, absolutely. All right. Going to play basketball. Love you guys. Go UConn. Go you. Team FBM. Think about it. Will FBM ever, ever lose a game to you? No. Will FBM ever get injured? No. Will FBM keep you warm at night? Yes. Will FBM either na ever nag and annoy you? No. Will FBM ever ask for a day off? No. It'll be there with you when you need it the most. It'll get you through hard, dire conditions. It'll be there with you when you need it most. Be great. Love you all. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll,